what's going on guys be flattened here with a brand new video today now after high request i'm going to be going over what i think is the ultimate dojo rematch team this team has been constructed for uh, many months in advance however there was some fine tweaking before arbory and a little bit after 1.0 seeing all the team changes in the dojo rematch team now i wanted to clarify that this is not going to be a uh raid boss uh style team meaning you pump up one uh team member to uh plus eight everything and just absolutely dominate and wreck um because it does not focus on like cheese strategies it focuses on um it focuses on tight matchups it focuses on uh how to outplay outsmart and out counter your opponent and because of those two methods it's going to be combining together for a uh, experienced kind of team so it's going to uh, allow a lot of uh, growth opportunity to see what is working for you and what is not working for you which is transferable to pvp matches even arch tamers things like that so this team is a very very good team for counters but it's also going to be a uh, non 100 percent win rate um, but it is still a very high percentage win rate because it forces you to think outside the box a little bit how to counter how to pick how to ban things like that so um i wanted to set up this team to have some transferable skills into other aspects of battling in the game so let's go ahead and go over the team shall we we have a volarend now our volarend here is working off of uh, a high hp little stamina high attack and a little defense little special defense now let's talk about these tvs and why so the HP is going to be there and existing so that Volaren is a threat to sit there for a very long period of time. The stamina is existing so that you can do things like Feather Gatling or whatever poison moves with the trait so that you can uh, get your spe uh, special defense have really, really high. The attack is there because you're lowering your special defense so low that uh, if you need to attack something with some physical attacks like Noxious Bomb or Feather Gatling, you can hit and still be a little bit of an attacking threat. Um... We also have uh, a little bit of defense, a little bit of special defense. This is allowing for uh, times two effective moves to uh, not allow a one-shot. Uh, there are a couple of moves that can one-shot Volarend, and uh, the defense and special defense exist so that you don't get one-shot, so that you can get a move off and maybe have a, uh, a pivot to switch out Vola, uh, a way to get a healing off, things like that. Um, the trait is anaerobic so that you can have your special defense up and your special attack down two stages every time you hit with a toxic move. So you can toxic plume the field, hit them both, poison them both, get the trade off so you can be a wall. Um, Venomous Claws is if in case your stamina is low, you can do that. However, that can be swapped out with something else like Purgation if you want to, um, if you want to uh, have a way to get rid of Doom or uh, set up a uh, an attacker for another uh, tem that's on your other side of the field. Uh, the Feather Gatlin is for Toxics. Uh, I use this a lot, actually, because there's a lot of Toxic uh, threats that Vola can wall, and also uh, pose a threat with the damage as well. Noxious is just for a hard-hitting, high-priority uh, damage attacker. I use the, uh, the Heavy Vest. Uh, the Heavy Vest lowers the speed by 15%, uh, but the damage taken is reduced by 10%, so you can take 10% more damage. That, on top of the uh, defenses that I was talking about, makes sure that no uh, thing will one-shot Volarend. Um, so we have Tolkien here. Tolkien is a uh, special attack threat. It comes with a uh, fire chip. The fire chip will allow for more fire damage whenever you attack with your Fiery Soul. Fiery Soul exists so that you can hit something and burn it for a turn uh, after your heater goes off. We want the special attack to be really, really high so that we can be a hard hitter. We want the speed to be high so that we can go first on times. Uh, the HP, stamina, and the special defense is so that um, a lot of one-hold moves or even zero-hold moves don't one-shot Tolkien so that Tolkien can still exist past one turn. Um, Tornado has high priority, so it existing for more than one turn helps. Um, Fiery Soul also has high priority. Wind Burst is when we're low on Stamina, and Fiery Tornado is in case um, we end up with 26 Stam, and Fiery Soul is just not an option to burn something. Golzi is going to be probably the star of the team, to be honest with you. Uh, I know I have to fix up the defense and special defense. Your Golzi will probably be a lot better than mine, but 
you want it to have sparkling bullet. You can also throw on um, uh, hasty lunge. Hasty lunge is also something that exists as well. If you use it with a nature ally, you don't OREX, uh, which means that we can use it with Kinu and Volfi pretty safely, uh, which allows for a uh, higher priority move than Sparkling Bullet. But Sparkling Bullet is also a pretty good hitter if uh, you don't uh, see yourself using Volfi or Kinu with your Golzi often. Most times I don't actually use it with uh, Golzi. Uh, I end up teaming Golzi up with some uh, other Thames. But we have Charged Iron Fillings to hit both of the uh, enemy team with a, uh, um electric attack. And also because of our taser that we put on it, it burns them both too. Um, it also makes them neutralized for two turns as well. So if you're finding yourself at a type disadvantage, you can make them neutral to be able to hit them pretty hard. Uh, the Oshidashi is just for a really strong physical attack. Uh, and the Uppercut is in case we're low on stamina and we need to punch something like ASAP. So, so the TV spread that we're talking about here is the high attack to be able to crush things, the high speed so that we can go first to crush things, the stamina exists so that we uh, can use a couple of moves before we OX, uh, the HP is so that we don't get completely dominated by one uh, or a few things, uh, and the defense, the special defense are the same thing to balance with that. Uh, biggest fears is Dust Vortex. Biggest fears is Dust Vortex on Golzi, so beware of uh, Asukais and Volfies because those will hurt Golzi a lot, and uh, you don't want Golzi to be off the field because this is probably one of your biggest threats. Uh, teaming up with Size Munch, Size Munch has uh, the Sweat Band so that it can uh, use its high uh, stamina moves. Because I have no stamina on it, Sweat Band was the easier choice for me. Um, I do high HP so that it can uh, exist for a long time. A little bit of speed so that it can move. 50 attacks so it can have some damage, though that's actually really changeable too because um, uh, Size Munch needs a lot of attack. So if you really want to, you can take some HP out and put it into attack. Um, but because of Heat Up, I don't overly need it that often. Um, it's whatever works for you, but uh, me personally, I like this spread a little bit better. And then the special defense is high at 350 because of Plague Priority. Plague being priority uh, times two effective to size much, the special defense allows you to take that hit and be able to pull off your move still uh, just fine. I usually lead with Heat Up so that I can get three attack on it right away so that uh, it can hit really, really hard on the next turn with size much as Wreck. Um, with Earthbound, <clears throat> after attacking with an Earth move, you get defense up, so you get some special or uh, some physical defense up as well. Dim Mac is just needed because it has high priority and it inflicts exactly 100 damage and also it makes it so that uh, sleeping targets stay asleep. Uppercut is just whenever we're low on stamina and uh, we need to punch something ASAP and uh, with the 3 heat up the uppercut actually does some damage too. It's pretty uh, good little Tem here. <coughs> Next up, another star of the team. It's Volfi. Volfi has... High HP so that it can exist on the field for a long time. A little bit of stamina so that I can pull off a couple of moves without OXing. Uh, no speed because it works off priority stuff. Defense so that it can uh, take some physical attacks and not uh, get wiped off the field right away. And a little bit of special attack so that it can uh, be a little bit of an attacking threat too. We do Dust Vortex for coverage. Um, it's also Earth type so we have for Earth as well. Uh, Plague is a uh, high priority move, which is very nice. Bush is so that uh, we can uh, end up uh, dodging an attack if we need. It also has high priority. Or it has synergy with Earth allies with uh, Size Munge, so that if you use Bush, you also get three special defense up. Uh, the Lifeful Sap is actually pretty nice too, so that you can recover, and you can also swap out Volfi so it can heal in the back line for a while. Team Elusive so that you don't get hit with uh, double attacking moves. It's a, a, a real threat. It's a real wall. It's actually my favorite time of all time. Really, really, really good Volfi here. Kinu is another really good one. Uh, beta Burst, Revitalize, Sacrifice, Hypnosis with Protector. HP 497 so it exists for a while. The speed so that it can hit first. Uh, the defense so that it doesn't get uh, hit really, really hard. It has high special defense uh, base stats, so you don't really need any investment in there. It needs a little bit more defense uh, existing. 
uh sacrifices in case it's going to be close to dead you can sack it to give something defense three and special defense three i usually like to use this on volfi so that it can be a absolute monster in tank revitalize with an uh uh nature ally you heal both of them so this is a really good threat with volfi beta burst is for a hitting move and hypnosis to put something to sleep to slow the battlefield down a little bit protector gives a ally defense and special defense up whenever you enter the battle for the first time with the kinu I use, um, I should go back in time. I used a reactive vial with Volfi, so if something punches it and it's hurt, uh, it can heal itself a little bit and become neutral for a little bit. Um, this allows you to keep Volfi on the field without having to swap it, and you don't take that times two next turn. Kinu has the rock shield so that crystal techniques uh, get reduced by 20% extra. So if you're facing a physical threat with crystal, you can keep it on the field for possibly one, maybe even two turns. Uh, Yowler. Now, a lot of people are going to be not liking Yowler because it has a uh, little bit of a nerf that was attached to it. Yowler's real existence is just to exist on the field. If you need to absolutely raid boss something, Yowler can do that thing. So we have 500 HP, so it stays on the field. 350 attack, so it can hit something, and when it does, it hurts. And special defense for 150. Uh, it has toughen, so that it can stay on the field longer with 4 defense. Savage Suplex, in case you need to hit something to uh, give it exhaustion. Oshi Dashi, just for coverage, and Hibernate so that it can freeze itself for three turns. It recovers 35% health and stamina, so you can uh, give it some support as well. Come back your trait, because I don't really like the new trait that it has. Um, you do 35% increased damage if something attacks you, and you attack it after. Uh, a real threat, a real uh, hard hitter, uh, and you can also boost it up with other moves uh, quite decently as well. Now, Scaravolt is the only one that I've really um, considered switching and uh, taking out. However, there's a lot of things that you can still do with Scaravolt and is a perfect counter to uh, Sophia, the wind and water type uh, dojo uh, uh, rematch leader. Uh, it has high HP for 498, so that its uh, half HP is not really that bad with the half full. 52 stamina, so it can actually hit a couple of things. Special attack at 449, so when it hits, it hits. And special defense so that uh, water-type uh, uh, special attacks don't uh, end up one-shotting it. It has half full, so when it goes into the field, it loses half its HP. But it gains two attack, two defense, one special attack, two special defense. Now, you might think half HP is not really that good. However, you can support Terror Volt with this really, really well. Shelter will give you 4 defense and 4 special defense, but you exhaust next turn. So if you really need to, you can just pivot it out and swap it out so that it doesn't uh, suffer that loss. Toughen will give it 4 defense if you want to keep it on the field, but you don't uh, want to lose your turn. Electric Storm to hit the full team with that special attack. And Burrow so that you can evade. Now things that you can do with Scarable to support it is Kinu. Kinu can give it Protector for 1 defense and 1 special defense extra. The other thing that I would suggest is taking off Rock Shield and putting on Kaleidoscope. Now, if you take off Kaleidoscope, it's an item where if you give yourself a uh, positive status effect, it actually passes it over to your teammate instead. So with uh, something like Lightful Sap, if you take out Revitalize, Lightful Sap will pass that uh, regeneration and rejuvenation to your Scarifold so that for five turns it can start healing. You can put it on your backbench for a while, let it heal for five turns, bring it back out. There are all of a sudden you have a really tanky Scaravolt and it has near full HP. Um, again, this team is not designed to raid boss something and sweep everything uh, completely mindlessly. It's here to exist to uh, be a little bit of a challenge to you to uh, allow you to pick your bands and uh, pick your tight matchups a little bit better. It has a really high win rate. Um, I would say that I've only lost once, and that was because I screwed up a priority move. Um, but that was my own fault, not the team's fault. Uh, the other things that uh, this is going to be here is that you can use this type of team to transfer to PvP. If you ever wanted to transition to PvP, this is an excellent start. Um, raid boss uh, cheese teams are not really passable to PvP. I mean, they can be, but uh, they're not going to be... Um, uh, they're going to be easily countered and seen. So uh, if you want to get a uh, good entrance, I would say that this is the team. So next up, I wanted to talk about the Arch Tamers uh, counter team. We're going to be saving that for the next video. So if you're struggling with the Arch Tamers, 
I have a few things to help you out with that. Uh, feel free to check out my other guides. I have a lot of uh, smaller guides. I have team comps. I have a lot of different things on this channel. So feel free to check out those other videos. You'll see a pop-up on them right away. Other than that, my name is Beef Latin, and I'm signing on out of here. Take care, all. Laters.